you're all doing wonderful today. I feel very weird right now talking to the camera because it's been so long since I've done a sit down video for you guys. But today I am going to be doing a um, what I keep or what I am putting in my kids Easter baskets for this year of 2019. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Samantha Sparks and I make everyday mommy lifestyle fun vlog videos for you guys. A lot of what I eat in days, a lot of daily vlogs, and a few sit down videos every once in a while. So it is currently like March 19th or March 20th actually. Yep, March 20th because today is happiness day. So <laughs> trying to stay happy and joyful for the day. So that means Easter is about a month away, and I wanted to go ahead and film this video for you. It'll probably be up at the end of March. Um, I wanted to get this video done for you guys, so that way you can go shopping and get your kids their Easter goodies and fun little things. Now, I have a lot of friends and family that do not celebrate Easter or... Maybe they celebrate Easter, but they just don't do Easter baskets. Um, but, but for me personally, I love doing Easter baskets for my kids. My mom always did them for me, and it's just it's just fun. A little fun thing to do on Easter. So I do have my kids, all of their stuff right here. I've just been gathering it all and putting it in this little laundry basket. Um, and now I'm going to go through it and actually put these baskets together. So I was going to show you guys what all I got for them. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am working really hard on growing my YouTube channel, my YouTube family, and my Instagram as well. So my Instagram is right here, um, somewhere down here. And go ahead and um, go over there and check out my Instagram page. I am now starting to upload every single day and all my stories as well. So you can keep up to date, real time, on what's going on with my family of two toddlers under two. Well, two and one and two. <laughs> Most of the items that I have for my kids are either from Walmart, Amazon, or Target. So, And I also did a DIY little project that I'm going to show you to make their Easter baskets a little unique and fun as well. But those are my three favorite places to shop was Walmart, Target, and um, Amazon. I'm obsessed with Amazon, so a lot of it actually comes from Amazon. But I'm going to go ahead and get started with the actual baskets. So their baskets are going to be these little wagons pull wagons that I got from the dollar spot of Target um they're just these wooden wagon that um what are these called they're wooden garden crates so they're five dollars as you can see in the dollar spot and I took my Cricut and made these little stickers for them well it's actually I have a Cricut cutter and then a Cricut press heat thing so I just did the heat press on it so it kind of looks like it's painted on there and I really love it. So this one's Aubrey's and then Mavericks is blue. And I did different fonts for them to match their personalities. But yeah, I loved these little baskets and I'm just going to put all of their Easter stuff or at least what I can fit in here and I think it'll look really good. I got some basic Easter grass. You can use any kind of Easter grass or this is the paper Easter paper crinkle paper I just thought it was really cute this one's glittery and then Maverick some blue to match his I'm just gonna dump everything out on the floor here I think I'm going to start with Maverick's basket and show you everything that's in his he is a one-year-old little boy well he's 14 months old now so a 14 month old little baby boy and he loves stickers and little toys things that make noise he also likes cars but I don't think I got him any cars this time but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and show you everything that's in his basket so to start off the biggest item is this little sticker book now, um, he does love stickers, and so does Aubrey, so I thought this little book would be perfect to stick in my diaper bag for when we're at restaurants and stuff, but it's First 100 Truck Sticker Books, and it just has a ton of stickers and little activity pages um, for them to do, as you can see here. And I think this was, I think this was like $7 off Amazon, but I will link this down below for you guys. This lighting is making me look super pale, so just just ignore that. But I found these awesome little stickers from Walmart. They're only 98 cents. So I got those for him. This cute little book, and it's got a little rabbit that sticks out of the hole. This was also from Walmart, I believe. But I'm pretty sure you can find this one on Amazon as well. 
everything that I can find um, I will link down below but this is just a cute little book that I thought he would really enjoy so this item I actually got last year after um, Easter when I knew Maverick would be about one years old so I found this and it's this little Easter headband with little rabbit ears the bow tie I figured this would be so cute for him to wear on Easter Sunday to go with his new suit and it was only $3.41 and I am pretty sure they actually still sell this this season or this um, um, the same exact one now at Target so if you're interested you could probably go get it now and it is $9.99 regularly but I got it on clearance for $3 and that is my tip for this video by the way tip for video uh, so the tip for this video is after holiday shopping is one of my favorite things to do. I do it at Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving. Every holiday basically I do a lot of after holiday shopping. I put it in my budget. I know it's something to expect at certain on certain months. So this year after Easter I will be looking for items that a three and a two year old would like. And I'll probably be putting it away in the basement storage and um, just use it for the next year. It can save you a lot of money. like just like with this item it's originally $9.99 and I got it for less than four dollars that's a more than 50% savings so that's a good savings right there just by buying it a little bit early the kids do have an outdoor play sandbox um, it's like a water sandbox I'm not really sure what it is called exactly but it has sand on one side water on the other side and they also have a garden so I found these in the dollar spots so I got it for this one's for Maverick and it says play in dirt <laughs> and it's just a little apron it was three dollars from the dollar spot really adorable um yeah pretty sure the kids already tore into it a little bit but it's okay and then i also found this play in the dirt gloves and these were three dollars as well another item from the dollar spot i love target dollar spot is the best place to get little knickknacks for your kids for easter and other little treat bags um I, we used a lot of things from the dollar spot for the kids um birthday treat bags the little gifts for everyone but i found these but you can also find these at walmart but i got these from the dollar spot but i love the colors that are out for the spring i actually got some other ones for aubrey <laughs> they're just so adorable and the kids love these paints so we got Maverick a couple of these and then the last item for Maverick is another item from the dollar spot and it is this digging bugs dirt kit so it comes with bugs a little bit of moon sand I think that's what it's called is it it looks like dirt but I'm pretty sure it's moon sand so basically he'll just be able to dig for little bugs I think he will really enjoy this and it was three dollars i think from the dollar spot pretty sure this was three dollars now moving on to aubrey's basket the first item i got her was this little hat which actually got me on the easter kick um i saw this at target and just could not hold back i had to have it but it i just realized i got in size 12 to 24 a month but she wore it she can wear it fine it's no problem so i got this for her to wear on easter sunday it goes with her dress perfectly it was $7.99 the next thing is from walmart and it is these ears and little bunny tail i'm actually going to give her these little ears and bunny tail a little bit early because she has an easter daycare party on the 17th of april and I wanted her to be able to dress up like a little bunny for her little school party. And then I'll probably just stick it back in her basket. I don't know. She probably won't even notice. But I think they're super cute. They're just little ears. And it was only $1.98 from Walmart. You could not go wrong with that. And I wish... I'm sorry I'm probably blinding you. But I wish it would pick up a little bit better. Aubrey already had an outdoor garden apron. So I didn't get her an apron, but I did get her these cute little gloves. They're just like Mavericks, but pink. And it says, Plant Smiles. I <laughs> wish it would pick up better. The next thing I got for her is this um, cute little book. It's the Use Burn Illustrated Alphabet. I'm probably pronouncing that really wrong. But basically, basically it's just the animal um, zoo animal illustration book. This is one of those highly recommended homeschooling books. They have them for safari animals, oceans, and then the zoo animals, I think. But this is from Amazon, and it's in like a, the book is actually in the little folder, which, I don't know, it's kind of cute. But 
We have not tested this out yet, but I did a lot of research on trying to find some new books for Aubrey that I thought would be good for her age group that would really help her learn. And this one came up a lot, so I just went ahead and purchased it. And after Easter, we will test it out and see how it is. But I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was about $9 on Amazon. I will link it down below. But yeah, so it just looks like that. I got Aubrey some stickers as well from Walmart. They're just the 3D stickers. She will also be getting an Easter book. This is just an Easter blessing book. Pretty sure this is from Walmart. Um, it's $9.99, but I will try to find it on Amazon. I just thought this would be really handy because she does do a lot of these little lacing activity things. Um, so yeah, it was $2.98 from Walmart. I found these bathtub crayons. Aubrey is obsessed with baths and like the bath bombs. Bath, um, you can get slime, bath slime. She just loves it. So I just thought she would like these bath crayons as well. She will also be getting a few of these containers of bathtub finger paint soap. And these are from the dollar spot. Sorry, I'm trying to hurry through. The camera is about to die. <laughs> In the same section as this digging for dirt thing, we found these little gear building kits set so they're just a few little gears so they're kind of like little blocks i don't know they seemed really cool she liked them she's already opened it and like stole a few of them out of there so i know she's gonna like it that's what i'm gonna put in her basket and then the last item for her basket is just some of this glow in the dark easter's um putty so it's it's reflecting really bad i don't know it's some kind of putty i don't know found it in the uh, Walmart section 98 cents I've seen people do the um, number cards with these where they have to mold a number one out of the putty and put it on the little card so I just got it to see if it worked or see if she would like it I don't know so that is everything that is going to be in my kids Easter baskets for this year it's not too much but it actually is a lot I'll show you it's all piled up here um, they should fill up their baskets pretty well I'm not the type of mom who buys like a ton of Easter eggs and um, just tack, I say tacky, but you know, very Easter themed stuff because I want them to be able to use it even after Easter and for it just to last for a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below telling me um, what you are putting in your kid's Easter basket. What's one little item that your kid just absolutely would love to see in their Easter basket? Maybe candy. I don't know. I used to always get candy, but my kids do not need sugar. Let's just, we'll leave it at that. They do not need any sugar. And also let me know if you even do Easter baskets. I know a lot of parents um just don't do easter baskets for lots of different reasons and i'm really curious why um you don't do easter baskets no judgment i swear i'm just really curious honestly because that's just what i grew up with um so maybe it wasn't a tradition in your household just let me know down in the comments below let's get a conversation going and if the comments are disabled make sure you head over to my instagram and just message me on there um, i know youtube's done a lot of weird things with uh, the comment section lately which i completely understand why and i completely um, support that so if the comments are disabled make sure you just go over to my instagram once again i'll put it right here go check it out and i'll see you guys in the next video bye <music>